I cannot do this again. <laughs> I cannot go months without washing my hair again. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel it's your favorite homegirl ayana martina and today i look crazy because i am about to do a clay mask on my hair and i just wanted to show you guys the process um i have done this before on my channel but why not do it again um also if you have seen the video right before this one yes i do look the same because yes i am still sitting here in the same exact spot and i decided that i am going to film so without further ado let's get into the video i am doing a clay mask on my hair i have not washed my hair since the end of july so i feel like doing a clay mask will definitely like get it back into a really good spot um detox my scalp and just, just be good for my hair because you know I have been slacking on taking care of it so like why not give her a little bit of help you know getting back on the right path um my ends are actually in really good shape because prior to me abandoning my hair I had my ends trimmed um I already detangled this side of my head I did not detangle this side yet um I'm gonna use the um, Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay Mask. And I'm going to be using Bragg's Organic Apple Cider Vinegar to make the mask. Um, I've already poured out some of the clay like into this plastic bowl. And then I'm going to use this plastic spoon to stir it up. You don't want to use metal because it can affect, it can impact the way that the head, like the mask works. You know, like yeah anyway so what i'm gonna do is detangle this is mostly detangled there's like a couple of like knots still in the back um i'm gonna detangle the rest of it and i'm gonna like separate it into probably three sections on this side that way i can just unravel the section apply the clay mask and then go on to the next one um i also have a spray bottle here because you don't want to apply the clay mask on dry hair you need to have your hair be wet um it helps with the clay like actually getting into the strands of your hair and like working and whatnot so yeah um i don't think i have anything else to say for right now so just go ahead and get some popcorn or whatever and just watch me work um i feel like it's best to fully detangle your hair before you start, like before you even mix your mask up. That way you can just dive right into it once you make your mask, instead of having to like, oh, let me, let me detangle this section. Oh, let me detangle this section now. Like, no, you already did it. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. Finish detangling. <laughs> um, And if you see my armpits, don't say nothing. Because everybody grows body hair. So, you can just mind your business. brush your hair do you switch hands with the brush because for whatever reason I cannot brush with my left hand like at the actual act of doing it like it happens but like this just feels so wrong and I feel like I'm gonna miss like a big section of my hair by not using my right hand so like I don't know my right hand is just it's my go-to you know, I think the funniest thing about me and all of this hair, right? I have a lot of hair on my head, like, obviously, right? But when you put me next to my mom and you look at how much hair she has on her head, I feel like I'm bald. But, like, this is just half of my head. 
where where's the bald but like i'm telling you like she, her hair is so dense like her my mom and my younger sister they have the most dense hair like they have the same exact head of hair i have a little bit of my mom's thickness i guess but like i think my hair is more like my dad's hair but i don't have proof of that because ever since i was like a few months old he's been bald so I have no proof of like what his hair was like. He says it's similar to mine, but like, he hasn't seen his hair in like 30 something years. Well, not 30 something, almost 30 something years. <laughs> Cause I'm not 30 yet, not yet. It's coming, but I'm not there yet. So he hasn't seen his hair in a long time is the point of my story. But I feel like my hair is probably more similar to his, but like also a mix between the two. But my sister, my younger sister, she has my mom's hair, like the density, the strand thickness, the, 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 the curl pattern, like the tightness of her curl. She has my mom's hair. But like compared to them with their hair, I don't, I feel like I don't have that much hair. I have length, but I, I feel like I don't have thickness because I don't have their thickness. But I definitely have a lot of hair on my head. So I don't know why I always feel like I'm bald. I ain't bold. Not by a long shot. <laughs> like, you see all of this? What the heck? But anyway, let me go ahead and finish detangling this side of my hair. And then we're going to get into the actual application of the clay mask and bring back the health and life of my hair. Okay, so I'm back and I've clearly detangled all of my hair, twisted it into sections. I made a clay mask. I probably will need more. So now I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and just start applying it. I'm starting the back and then work my way to the front. Grab your section. Spray it down. Um, I'm just gonna just like use my hand to work the water through a little bit and I'm gonna make sure I focus the clay like of course along the length of my hair but also like really really focus it on my scalp because my scalp is in shambles right now because it's been so long since I've done anything to my hair she's screaming for attention so gross Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. Oh, okay. It fell in the bowl. It's fine. If you really, really care about not getting um, clay on the floor, you can put some tiles down. Or, like, the really, really smart option is to do it, like, in the bathroom. So that if it does fall on the floor, it's just on tile. <laughs> so you can wipe it up. But I'm clearly not in the bathroom. Um, so yeah, he's doing it, but let me show you how I'm doing it. I'm applying it like it was a relaxer, making sure I get all the different angles, all the scalp, and then put some on the ends. Oop. Fell on my leg. Boom. And then we go on to the next side. <laughs> we got two sections done. Ew. My lighting is not good. Y'all gotta forgive me. I've been out the game for a hot minute. And my hands are dirty now, so I'm not gonna adjust my lighting. I'm sorry. But we got, you know, some shadows casting. Or some shadows, like, all right here. Because my light is, like, here. But y'all are here. 
So, my bad. We gonna get through this thing together. We gonna get through it together. <laughs> okay, so I'm done and I literally, again, scraping the bottom of the bowl. But all my hair is coated. Let me, let me scoop back some so I can show you. All my hair is coated. Um, I even made sure I went through and like added like some more on the part. Cause like, I've noticed that sometimes I'll, I'll miss a part of my hair because that's where the part is. Does that make sense? So yeah, I went through and tried to make sure I didn't miss any parts. So let me show you the back of it real quick. My thighs are sticking to the chair. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm gonna do is just let it sit for like 10 minutes. It is 3.53. I'm gonna let it sit, and then I'm gonna hop in the shower, rinse it out. Um, you can rinse this out in the sink if you prefer not to like wash your hair in the shower, but my hair is gonna be like molded to my scalp pretty much. So me bending forward and rinsing it out in the sink just is not ideal. So I'm gonna rinse it out in the shower, um, clean up my mess in the, the 10 minutes that I'm letting it sit. Um, and then I'm gonna do a deep conditioner. Um, I would show you, but my hands are dirty right now. So I'm just gonna insert the picture like right over here. I'm gonna use this for my deep conditioner. And then I'm going to do a wash and go because at this point I'm kinda tired of doing my hair. And I just started. My camera cut off um but yeah like i was saying wash and goes are super quick for me usually you know my hair is in a really good like healthy state my hair is not unhealthy it just hasn't been touched in a long time so she needs a little little assistance getting back to a good spot um so yeah i'm gonna do a wash and go and then i'll come back and show y'all once i'm done with my wash and go curls gonna be popping and yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. My hair has been detoxed with the clay mask. I used that Shea Moisture Mask, this one right here, that one, yep. Um, and then I used, what gel did I use? I used this gel, the La Bella gel. And while I was in the shower, I put the gel in and then I just pinned my hair up Finished my shower, got dressed, and now I'm back. My hair is still wet, obviously. Um, but I just wanted to show y'all, like, the curls are popping. Like, to say I haven't washed my hair since July, and before that, it was very, very sporadic. My hair is back in good health, baby. Watch this, hold on. Okay. So obviously right now, the shape is looking you know a little bit crazy but you can see it's defined you can see the curls are back you can see my joint is healthy okay um let me i guess let me show you the back hold on hold on oh it's a spider over here i have a spider in the corner with me um if you follow my Instagram, then you know how I feel about spiders. But I'll tell you here as well, I hate them. Um, I don't mind if they're outside, like, you know, mind your business, stay outside in nature. But um, when they come inside my house, when they come inside my vehicle, gotta die. They gotta, they gotta get killed. And the one behind me is like very, very small. I literally almost didn't see it. But now that I saw it, I gotta kill them. It's only right. Anywho, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let my hair air dry because I don't feel like sitting here and diffusing it. Um, ooh, my lip is peeling. The heck? Anyway, I'm gonna sit, I'm not sit here. I'm gonna like sit in the house for a little bit with this towel around me because my hair is still dripping. Um, 
but I'm not going to diffuse it. I'm just going to let it air dry. If I do end up blow drying it, it'll be because I'm trying um, because I'm trying to go to bed. Um, so if it's still wet, you know, like 11, 12 o'clock, then I'll blow dry it. But other than that, this is all I got for y'all. Um, my battery's getting low, so I have to go. I will see you guys in my next video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Hit that bell as well so you get notified when I post new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite color is. I don't know. <laughs> have a great day or a great night. Bye, guys.